Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Got an interesting story here sent to me by Gregory from the Associated Press. Appeals court rules man who is ticketed for shouting at police to turn on their headlights can sue. And that exactly is the story. Man's driving down the street, sees some police officers, their headlights aren't on. He yells at them to turn their headlights on. He may have included a word or two otherwise. Uh, and they ticketed him for that. And so he sued them for that, being ticketed for yelling at them. And uh, it just went up to the Court of Appeals, and the Court of Appeals says, yes, you can sue. Your lawsuit will survive being thrown out of court. The man is a civil rights attorney, and he's suing the Buffalo Police Department for one dollar. One dollar. This is a matter of principle. A man who sued Buffalo Police after he's taken over shouting at an officer to turn on his headlights can move forward with his legal action. Now, here's what's happening is the lower court threw his case out. It said you can't sue for that. Court of Appeals says, yes, you can. Keep in mind, this is not saying that he wins. It's saying that he gets to a jury. That's it. The decision of the U.S. Court of Appeals last week reversed a ruling by a U.S. District Judge in Buffalo who tossed the case, saying the officer had reasonable grounds to cite the man for a noise violation after he called out, turn your lights on, with a uh, remark considered an expletive in the sentence. This new ruling sends the case back to district court for trial, arguing that the profane statement during the December 2016 encounter might be considered an eminently reasonable attempt to avert an accident. So it's, uh, it happened in 2016. We're here a few years later. The man's a civil rights attorney said he did not initially intend to sue over the incident, but he changed his mind after learning the same officers were involved two months later in the arrest of an unarmed man who died of an asthma attack after struggling while being handcuffed. A 2017 investigation by the AG's office found insufficient evidence to warrant criminal charges against those officers. So here, the attorney thought, well, this might help him stand up for the man who's deceased. So he sued the city, the police commissioner, and the officers at his traffic stop, claiming false arrest, malicious prosecution, and First Amendment retaliation. He told the Buffalo News he is seeking $1.00 and an acknowledgement that the officers acted inappropriately. So the question is, could Buffalo right now say, okay, fine, here's a dollar, and we're sorry. And would that make the case go away? Because it sounds like that's what he's saying. Now, I know some people who file lawsuits and say, I want to get in front of a jury and tell my story. Well, you get to tell your story if the case isn't settled. But I'm always curious, if somebody offers you what you're asking for, and you don't take it, <clears throat> so I don't know if they've made that offer, by the way, because to them, obviously, a dollar is not a big deal. It would be the apology and the admission that what they've done is wrong. That's a big deal. When I saw that it was the same two cops were involved in my incident, when they retaliated against me because I angered them, and uh, the other guy angered them by resisting arrest, I went forward with a lawsuit that I never would have thought, he told the newspaper. A Buffalo police spokesperson did not immediately respond to a request for comment. And uh, the man's contact with the officers started about 8.30 in the evening, December 1st, 2016, as he and his wife were leaving a downtown restaurant. He said he saw an approaching vehicle with his headlights off come close to hitting two pedestrians. Then he referred to the driver with a profanity while calling out, turn your lights on. It was only after he pulled the vehicle over in response that this man here saw it was a police officer in the SUV, according to court filings. So at that point, the officer said to the attorney, you know, you can be arrested for that. The attorney responded that the officer should not be driving after dark without his headlights activated and told the officer he almost caused an accident. The officer then got out of his vehicle and told the attorney he was detained, according to the lawsuit. The situation escalated with the arrival of other officers uh, who refused the attorney's request to issue the officer a traffic ticket for driving without headlights. Instead, the attorney was cited for violating the city's noise prohibition. That citation was later dismissed. The attorney said a letter he wrote the police commissioner the day after the encounter went unanswered. I wrote that letter because I thought these guys needed more training. They needlessly provoked an incident. They were in the wrong. They confronted me. They used the power of their badge to cite me. Now, lawyers of the city in court documents say that the lawyer's legal claims are unsupported, and a U.S. district judge had agreed with that back in March of 21, 
ruling that the officer had probable cause to ticket the attorney for his shouted comment. And, of course, that's the ruling that just got overturned on appeal. Given both the volume and nature of what he yelled in the presence of bystanders, a reasonable person of normal sensitivities could be annoyed and have their quiet, comfort, and repose disturbed. But the U.S. Court of Appeals disagreed in their ruling and said a jury might, might view the shout as unreasonable noise if all five words were expletives, but a rational juror could, could view his actual words as an attempt to avert a possible accident. And so here's the thing. The court is saying for someone to yell, okay, depends on what they yell and how loud they yell it and where they yell it and all these different things that play into that, okay? And so the court that threw it out said, well, obviously they've got the right to give you a citation for that. Obviously. Therefore, you can't sue. And the Court of Appeals saying, a jury is who decides that. And if there is a question of fact, a jury gets to decide it. And the question of fact is this. He yelled out, turn your headlights on, with one expletive added. And the question is, is what he yelled something he's allowed to yell, despite the fact he's got that one word there, or not. And so a jury, if this case doesn't settle and goes to trial, a jury will be asked, if this man yells this out, turn your lights on, and there's a bad word at one end or the other of that sentence, which I'm assuming where it went. (laughs) Some swear words can go almost anywhere in a sentence, right? But um, they're very, very flexible parts of speech. Uh, but here I'm, I'm guessing is either the beginning or the end, right? And so that's what's going to be decided by a jury. And if a jury finds that a police officer could rightfully see that as something that's disturbing the peace, then he, he could lose this. And if a jury comes back and goes, no, that's not disturbing the peace. The cop shouldn't have written that ticket. The ticket is clearly written to retaliate against him for telling them to turn their lights on and using that word. Because some people don't like it when you yell at them, but they like it even less when you yell at them and call them a name. And so that's what this is about. So it's an interesting case. Um, I'm most curious to see if it could settle. Because like I said, I've had many cases in my career where my clients come to my office and go, here is exactly what I want. And they tell me. And so... Sometimes negotiate, sometimes file a lawsuit, and somewhere down the road, the other side comes to me and goes, what does your client want? And sometimes I'll, I'll say, well, I'll throw a number at him, and we'll try to negotiate. I don't ever come out and go, well, gee, my client wants $100. We want $100. Um, no, my client wants $1,000. Are you crazy? Might take $500. <laughs> Depends on the case and how well I know the defense attorney. And, um, and you might say, Steve, why does it matter how well you know the defense attorney? Because I know their bargaining style. There are some defense attorneys who I know will come to me and say, Steve, here's what I got. That's it. And they're telling the truth. I know other attorneys who come to me and say, Steve, that's all I got. And I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> We've been through this before. Don't, don't try again, okay? So if someone came to my office and said, Steve, all I want is an apology and a dollar. I'd say, okay. Um, what kind of an apology? I'm assuming they can't just call the phone and go, hey, I'm sorry. You probably want them to make a public apology, like a press release. And I suspect there'll be more negotiation on that apology than anything else. I'm now going to tell you a story that just popped into my head. I don't think I ever told in this channel before. And I haven't thought about this case in years. And I had a case where my client sued somebody and they countersued. So two lawsuits going back and forth. We go to court. Judge goes, go into a back room and settle it. If you can't settle it, come back out, you will set it for trial. So go in the back room, and uh, turns out that I'm there with my client, but the attorney is actually there, and he's related to his client. And his client's not actually there, but he goes, I have authority on behalf of my client to resolve this case. And it was one of those weird situations where 
it turns out that for both parties to get up and walk away would actually make sense. Because some things that came out as we're going through the litigation, and that's not important here. It's not important here. So I think I suggested, I said, how about this? We'll drop our case, you drop your case, we all walk away. And the guy looks at me and he goes, no, we want something out of this. I go, what do you mean something? He goes, we want $20. $20. He actually gave us a number, $20. And I said, your claim was that you wanted thousands and thousands of dollars. And he goes, no, as a matter of principle, we want $20. I said, okay. I pull my client aside. We have a little chit-chat. My client goes, fine. Fine, we'll do it. So we go out in the court, tell the judge, we are going back on the record, Your Honor, we've settled the case. We've settled the case. (laughs) The attorney goes, how'd you settle it? And the other attorney goes, well, uh, we've agreed to dismiss our case. We've agreed to dismiss our case. And they're going to be paying us the sum of $20. And I go, Your Honor, that is correct. And the judge goes, okay, will there be some paperwork to provide? And the other attorney goes, yes, Your Honor, we'll submit a judgment to the court for $20. And, excuse me for using a prop. I, on the record, pulled my wallet out of my pocket, pulled a $20 bill out. I held the $20 bill up in open court and said, Your Honor, I'd like the record to reflect. I'm holding in my right hand a $20 bill. I'm now handing it to opposing counsel who is accepting it. We're resolved. No judgment necessary. Judge goes, okay, submit a dismissal. (laughs) The other guy, you could see, like in a cartoon, steam spiraling out of his ears because he was hoping that he could submit a judgment and get a judgment against my client for $20. And judgments don't look good despite the amount. And he thought, as a matter of principle, he'd go tell his client, yeah, but I got a judgment against them for $20. It's going to screw his credit up or something. I, I I don't know. And when I went and handed him the $20, I made him whole. We walked out of court, and my client looked at me. He goes, what was that all about? (laughs) He goes, do I owe you $20? I go, no, 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 no. I got $20 worth of enjoyment out of that. And then I explained what he's trying to do. And he's like, oh, you're kidding me. I go, no, no. I go, but we're not going to come back into court and tell the judge we're going to go to trial over $20. We're not going to do that. And so the case is over. I just happened to have a 20 in my wallet. We're good. We're good. So the question I have is, let's suppose instead somebody walks up to the guy and has a $1 bill. Goes, there's your dollar. We're sorry. I'm assuming, like I said, a little more than that's necessary. But the question then becomes, will they do it? However, it might be that he'd accept that. Okay? Because he says his principal. He's only asking for a buck. Maybe he'd accept it. Maybe he'd say, you guys put together a really nice press release that says that these two officers overreacted, shouldn't have written the ticket, and they're sorry. And they, will, and they will keep this in mind in the future and pay me a dollar. <laughs> so I admire the guy. Gregory, thanks for sending it from the Associated Press. Appeals court rules, man who is ticketed for shouting at police to turn on their headlights can sue. It's not a guarantee he's going to win, but he can sue. His lawsuit survives. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. I wish I could, but I don't want to.